I've been really inspired by the free VCV rack, virtual Euro rack software that's been made available. One of the things I wanted to do in VCV rack was try to basically recreate my very simple modular system that I have here so that I could experiment with it and try out techniques while I was away from my actual modular rig. And one of the first things that I did was to start trying out the noise reap filter as a sound source as opposed to just a filter source. So let me explain what's going on in this patch. This set of modules right here is really doing most of the heavy lifting in this patch. There's a Erica Synths Pico Rand module hanging out off screen, providing a little bit of LFO, and we'll talk about that in context. There's also a North Coast Modular Collective Malt, which is just taking the clock signal and splitting it into the normal clock and the divided clock that's coming out of this. So from left to right, we've got an Erica Sense MIDI to clock module. I'm just sending this uh, steady clock signal from my beat step. We've got the Noise Reap Bermuda VCO, the Noise Reap Double VCA, and the Noise Reap VCF and then an AI synthesis looping ADSR. So the idea here that I came up with as I was playing with VCV rack was that I wanted to try out some different ways of patching together this really common set of modules, which in most cases would probably be a mono synth voice. I wanted to kind of explore using the VCF to do some kick drum sounds. The VCF is a new uh, addition to this rack. And in the manual, one of the things they mention is that if you turn the resonance up and you give it a clock or uh, trigger input into the audio input of the of the filter at high resonance levels it'll provide more like a kick or a bongo kind of percussive tone so i wanted to try that out and i patched it up in vcv modular and really liked the results so i decided to pull it back into the actual euro rack system so i've got both the filter as well as the vco going into this double vca both of which are receiving an envelope from the AI synthesis looping ADSR. That's getting a clock signal to trigger it. And then that uh, same CV signal is going to both channels. So I'll pull up just the VCF channel first and you can hear how that sounds. I'm gonna turn the CV all the way down so you're getting just the straight tone. and I'm gonna start bringing the filter frequency down so you can hear some of those lower kick drum sounds. Playing with the envelope gives us some different decay times. And I can also play around with the resonance to get a longer boom on that kick drum sound as well. We're really into 808 kick drum kind of territory here. I've also just switched the clock division here so we're getting just a single kick instead of two kicks. I'll pull up some CV control here, which is again, just coming from a simple sine wave LFO from the Erica Pico Rand module here. That's off camera to the right. And you can hear that playing around with the filters uh, cutoff frequency, which turns into the actual frequency that it's playing. I found that I like this at a pretty low amount and a pretty slow rate on the LFO to get kind of a subtle wavering in that kick. So now let's bring in the second half of that patch, which is the oscillator here. Right now I've got it coming out of the triangle or sawtooth uh, output, and it is just going into the VCA, getting that same exact uh, envelope from the ADSR. So I'll start to mix those in off screen. That envelope is set pretty long, so I'm gonna pull that back some.
And you can hear, of course, as soon as we bring in the VCO, we get a lot more harmonic content in there. This VCO also has a self-modulation control, so I can turn that up and get some interesting kind of gritty stuff happening. I'm just turning the VCO up a little bit off screen here. And now I'll solo it. So that's kind of a cool bass tone by itself. And then when we lay the filter back in there, we really get a nice percussive, but kind of tonal thing happening there as well. So again, I just really like how this works using both of those elements together. It's kind of cool having this be kind of the higher click and the VCO being the lower sort of sustain piece. Here's just the VCO. Here's just the filter. Here's both of those layered again. It's pretty massive. We can get some interesting stuff going on when we flip the ADSR into the looping mode as well. I'm also going to just get crazy with this now with some more CV playing with the pitch on the filter. And we'll see where that goes. I'm also going to patch the, uh, the LFO out into the VCO's FM. I think this is really nice here, being able to get some really subtle variations on that. So what I like about that approach of using VCV rack with the virtual modular is that it allows me to explore an idea like that while I'm just at my computer and then come back to the actual modular system and try it out. I don't know that I would have necessarily hit on this if I had just been sitting in front of my rack, but by limiting myself in VCV to just the modules I actually have, as opposed to pulling in all the different modules that it has, um, I really had to start thinking creatively about what my modules can do. And so what I will typically do with something like this is I'll sample it and possibly use it either in Ableton Live, possibly throw it into the Novation Circuit, or into the Patterning Drum Machine app on iOS, which is a fantastic drum machine, um, and just use this as a very unique kind of kick drum sound. Um, and make some interesting percussion stuff that I'll use in different tracks in different ways. Won't necessarily leave the modular patched like this, but as a sound generation idea, this is really nice. So, thanks for checking this out. If you're interested in more of what I'm doing with my modular work, go and check out the North Coast Modular Collective YouTube channel. There is a new performance video of me, as well as two other performers, Dan Blades and Joe Bauer, from a recent performance that we did as part of Ann Arbor District Library's Mini Moog Fest. Thanks for watching.